Hey, so I'm back out in my shop today and I had mentioned this last week um, whenever I made a serving tray thing. Um, I had talked about a remote control holder boxes for side tables. So that's actually what I'm gonna do today is walk you through the process of the remote control holder box. I had actually made one for myself a few weeks back and the moment I posted it on my farmhouse.flip Instagram, um, I had several people say, oh, I want one or how much? And a lot of people messaged me. So I'm um, gonna fulfill a couple of those orders today. So far, I've cut two eight inch pieces. These are about um, four inches wide. So cut them eight inches long. I cut one board that's about six inches wide, eight inches long. Um, and then for my ends, I have two that are six inches wide to start with, and that's where I'm gonna have to do a little bit of configuring and um, work it out because it, there'll also be a little divider in the tray, remote box. So I usually wait and um, cut that to fit in the end, depending on how wide I want each little compartment to be. So next step, run a couple of these through the planer and see what I can come up with. And hopefully it all matches up and turns out really cute. I got my wood all planed and some of it's still gonna be kind of rough, which I'm totally good with that. Um, some of it planed nice and smooth, so doesn't matter. Um, I like the roughness, uniqueness that it adds to each piece. And so um, I'll sand that and even it all out later, but overall I just wanted to get all the boards to the same thickness. So next step is going to be sanding just a little bit. I just got um, the box sanded. So now then it's time for assembly. And please don't judge me here. I do not have all the right tools in my shop, but I just do the best I can with what I've got. And hopefully it'll inspire you to get out and do something as well. So again, time for assembly. So now then I'm just going to use my orbital sander all over it and just finish it up, smooth it out, um, give it a nice pretty finish. And my husband just came out and said, oh my goodness, that's so cute. So yeah, um, I need to go stain it or put oil on it. I just haven't decided. So.
I use the um, Watco Natural Danish Oil on it. Oop, there it is. Once it dries a little bit, then I will show you a picture of what it looks like with the TV remote and a succulent.